As you might expect, Ivanka Trump and her husband Jared Kushner have moved to Florida along with the rest of the Trump clan. However, rather than living right beside her father Donald Trump's longtime Mar-a-Lago estate, Ivanka has opted to buy a fixer-upper mansion on the waterfront area in the Miami instead. Born into the Trump family, Ivanka has been living in the most opulent mansion since she was just an infant. Now, after her many years in the spotlight, she's able to share that same privilege with her own children. Also, Michael and I have dropped our very own house tour of our new home that we moved into earlier this year. So subscribe to our personal channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residence residences because it's not safe for anyone. Ivanka Trump is a businesswoman as well as the first daughter of Donald Trump and his first wife, the late Ivana Trump, who she's of course named after. While her father served as the President of the United States from 2017 to 2021, Ivanka worked alongside him closely as a senior advisor in his administration as well as the Director of the Office of Economic Initiatives and Entrepreneurship. Ivanka and her husband, Jared Kushner, who married married in 2009 and share three children, departed their home in Washington, D.C. after her father Donald left the White House in 2021. Just like the rest of the Trumps, Ivanka set her sights on Florida. Rather than moving just beside her father's Mar-a-Lago estate, the couple began renting a luxury unit in the condo building art in Surfside, while purchasing a $24 million waterfront estate in Miami in need of a handful of repairs. Hey guys, it's Scare the Vampire Slayer, back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, today looking at where Ivanka Trump and Jared Kushner call home. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat, and now let's get into this video. Ivanka Trump was born in New York City in 1981 to Donald Trump and his first wife, Ivana Trump. As a young girl, she was able to live the high life not only in Manhattan but at her parents' vacation properties. Ivanka's very first home was in Manhattan's upscale 800 Fifth Avenue building, and by the time she was three, the family had already moved to the lavish triplex penthouse in the newly built Trump Tower. Just a year prior, the family even bought a sprawling estate in Greenwich, Connecticut. Connecticut, and in 1985, Donald snapped up the palatial Mar-a-Lago estate in Palm Beach. In the Trump Tower home, the family's apartment spanned over 6,000 square feet, but was extended a decade later by merging two neighboring apartments. In a photo of a young Ivanka and her mom taken sometime in the 90s, the decor is typical, opulent, Louis XIV style with a ton of 24 karat gold. On the other hand, Ivanka's former bedroom on the upper floor once boasted a pink color scheme with little to no bling in its design. She once showed the space in the 2003 documentary Born Rich and showed her surprising secret, that she was a fan of rock music with walls full of Motley Crue, Poison, and Bon Jovi posters. In 1985, when Ivanka was four, her father Donald would buy the vacation vacation home in Florida, Mar-a-Lago, for a deal at $8 million, which is where he's moved back to this day. As well as offering an exclusive members club and resort, the 128-room Spanish Moorish-style home gave the Trump family a glamorous holiday palace. When Ivanka spread her wings on her own, she still lived in some beautiful places. While there were rumors that claimed Ivanka once resided in one of the large super luxe penthouses at the Puck Building in Soho, owned by her husband Jared's family, this was never confirmed. Once she and Jared married, their New York home was reportedly the one they've long owned at the Trump Park Avenue building, which is located in the heart of Manhattan and purchased in 2004 for $1.5 million. Considering they were living in Washington to be close to all the presidential action for quite some time, 
Ivanka and Jared put this lavish apartment up for rent in 2017 for $4.5 million or 15K per month to rent. With no luck finding a buyer or tenant, Ivanka eventually removed the listing and as of 2020, it appeared that she had yet to make a sale. This apartment spanned 1,549 square feet with two beds and two baths. Previously, Ivanka was living in a dimly lit unit a few floors below with lower ceilings, but once she married Jared, they moved up to this one, which is much brighter and more spacious. The completed designs were featured in Elle Decor and the subject of Ivanka's Instagram account until they moved into the Washington home. Her New York City apartment featured spacious walk-in closets in both bedrooms, as well as a luxurious ensuite in the master. There were custom stained hardwood floors and and coffered ceilings throughout, as well as a hand-painted mural in the foyer by Bob George Studio. The Kushner Trumps still own this unit, however, Ivanka sold her first smaller unit on the lower floor where she used to live in the building in 2016 or 2017 for $4.1 million. When Ivanka and Jared moved their family to Washington, D.C. to be close to their work in the White House alongside former President Donald Trump, they moved into a beautiful home in the Calabria Calorama neighborhood, which was only a three minute walk from the Obama's house. Calorama has a historic charm to it and was much different than Manhattan, which Ivanka was used to. While this gorgeous house was purchased in 2016 for about $5.5 million, it was bought by a Chilean billionaire, and Ivanka was actually renting the home for around 15K per month. Inside this stately home spans 6,870 square feet with six beds and 6.5 baths. It was built in 1923 and designed by architect Wadi Wood, but renovated since. Calorama is a historic district, so renovations on the home's exterior were limited. Yet inside, the home has undergone massive updates and modernization. The interior offered crisp white walls and light hardwood floors in many of the rooms, as well as five wood-burning fireplaces throughout. The modern minimalist style continued into the low-key kitchen, while the formal dining room was fancier and perfect to entertain. Here, there's another fireplace and windows letting in natural light. There's also a family room that leads to a sun porch with floor to ceiling French doors to outside. Four guest bedrooms in the upper level were joined by a master suite that had another fireplace, views of nature, and a cool color scheme that created a calm vibe for a good night's rest. The couple's one-time master bedroom also boasted two walk-in closets and a private terrace that overlooked the yard. Even the lower level in this Washington DC home had been finished with the same high-end details and even offered a staff apartment, kitchenette, an additional full bath. While it no doubt served Ivanka and her family well for the time being, after her father was no longer president, it was time for the Trumps to move to the Sunshine State. A month before Ivanka and Jared left the DC home, the couple secured a 1.8 acre waterfront piece of land on Miami's private Indian Creek Island for $32.2 million. This highly secure community is also called the Billionaire Bunker, being home to wealthy business tycoons and celebrities. It seems Ivanka and Jared are planning to build their dream home here. The super private 300 acre island has everything you could dream of, including a private police force to keep the area's high profile residents safe. Among the luxurious amenities that the island itself offers, there's an 18-hole golf course in the middle of the community for residents to enjoy at their leisure. While they bought this pricey land, Ivanka and Jared weren't done quite yet. The couple went on to purchase an 8,510-square-foot Palazzo-style mansion on the opposite side of the island for $24 million as well. The colossal home had been on the market for about six months when they snagged it, and it stood on 1.26 acres of waterfront land. Original listing photos are impressive, showing a resort-style swimming pool and manicured gardens, as well as amazing interiors. The mansion was built in 1994 and comes with six beds and nine baths and can only be accessed by a single bridge, which is guarded by a gatehouse patrolled by the island's security team. The impressive foyer boasts a Cinderella-style staircase, a 26-foot domed ceiling, and a crystal chandelier, all of which makes it jaw-dropping. And nearby, there are a handful of spacious and light-filled living areas. There are many bars and sitting rooms to relax and host within the estate, plus a chef's kitchen, a screening room, a wood-paneled office, and home gym. This stunning home might have been turnkey ready when it debuted on the market, but more recent aerial shots show it deteriorated 
quite a bit, at least on the grounds it did. From those photos, you can see the pool is full of green water and the patio appears to need some new tiling done. So Ivanka and Jared might have to fix it up a bit before moving in. Thankfully, the well-to-do pair are renting an apartment in the stylish art building close to Indian Creek in Miami's Surfside neighborhood. Each of the luxury units in here offer private elevator access, as well as amazing views of the ocean with wraparound terraces. There are also impressive kitchens with wall-to-wall -wall marble and designer appliances and other expensive finishes throughout. It seems Ivanka and her family decided on a four-bedroom unit in the building, which was listed at nearly 40 k per month. But one thing we know is that they can afford it. Finally, amenities in the arts building are equally impressive, featuring two swimming pools, a rooftop tennis court, plush residence lounge, a gym and yoga studio, temperature-controlled parking spaces, and even a meditation pond. Well, either way, with Ivanka and Jared's new location on Indian Creek Island, they're only a short drive from her father in Mar-a-Lago, as well as the rest of the Trump clan, including her siblings. So it seems that Ivanka made the right move. That's going to conclude this house tour. Let me know what you thought of Ivanka and Jared's homes down in the comments, as well as who we should feature next. And if you want to check out the rest of her family's homes, we have videos on those places too. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye.